Good afternoon. I'm meteorologist Madiel Ruiz. This is your tropics update for Monday, October 27th, and we are tracking Hurricane Melissa. This is the third category five hurricane of this season. We're specifically tracking the impacts in the Caribbean. So I'm going to take a zoom in here. You can see a well defined line on tropical satellite and that well defined line just indicative of how strong this system is. And with the cloud cover, you can see how far it reaches. Not only is it bringing in impacts already to Jamaica, but we can already see some of the outer bands working its way into areas like Cuba, Haiti and the Dominican Republic as well. A few of the stats on this. This is a uh, Hurricane Melissa category five hurricane max sustained wind of 175 miles per hour wind gusts of nearly 200 miles per hour. And right now it is moving to the west northwest at about three miles per hour over the last several days. This thing has not moved very much at all. And whenever we have very slow moving systems, we're very concerned with the freshwater flooding that we could see with these types of systems. Current location, and this is specifically talking about the center of circulation or the hurricane eye is currently 145 miles southwest of Kingston, Jamaica. Now this thing right now is moving to the west northwest, but eventually going to take a turn towards Jamaica and the current forecast track has this staying as a category five hurricane and making landfall sometime very early Tuesday morning. Now I was looking back at some stats. There have only been five major hurricanes. That's category three or higher that have made landfall in Jamaica. The strongest was actually a category four storm by the name of Gilbert in 1988. So uh, quite some time ago, there could be some Jamaicans that have never seen a storm of this strength. So this is going to make impact or at least direct landfall sometime Tuesday morning as it continues to work its way eventually into Cuba. It might make a landfall as a category three storm in Cuba sometime early Wednesday, and then it moves over uh, the country there and then eventually moves into the Lesser Antilles as a category two storm and then eventually working its way towards Bermuda sometime very early on Friday. So this is going to make uh, impact on several islands. Now, even though Haiti and the Dominican Republic are not directly in the path, they are still feeling the impacts, which is why areas like Haiti have tropical storm warnings. Meanwhile, Cuba and Jamaica under hurricane warnings, and this one in particular means uh, really speaks to the winds. So let's talk about the wind field. So this is uh, really showing you the red there hurricane force winds. The orange is showing you hurricane wind gusts and the yellow there shows tropical storm force winds. So the middle part is where we find the most intense winds. This is around the time we're making landfall Tuesday around seven, and you can see those strongest winds on the southwestern side of Jamaica, but still the whole island engulfed in at least tropical storm force winds at that point. Also seeing tropical storm force winds along the island there of Cuba on the southern side. Eventually, as this makes landfall in Cuba sometime early Wednesday, the southern half of the of the country there you can see with at least tropical storm force winds. But as it's making landfall close to Santiago de Cuba, just on the western side, at least we'll see that eventually pushing over uh, the country. The Lesser Antilles will likely see also hurricane force winds still whenever we're seeing it move over the Lesser Antilles sometime Wednesday afternoon. It pretty quickly moves into the Atlantic and then looking like it makes uh, impact along Bermuda there. At least hurricane force winds sometime very early Friday, if not Thursday overnight. We'll see how fast the thing moves once it makes it into open water. I'm going to speak specifically now towards Jamaica because Jamaica will see some of the highest rainfall totals by far 18 to 24 inches of rainfall. This is not taking into consideration any water that gets pushed in from the ocean. This is fresh water flood that we're talking about, meaning water coming from the hurricane itself. Now, right along the middle part of the country, 12 to 18 inches of rainfall. And then the more east you go, you can see anywhere between five to eight inches along the far eastern uh, side with eight to 10, eight to 12 along uh, the inward part of the island. So we'll be watching this closely. Again, this is only freshwater flooding. Then when we're talking about storm surge, it's water that gets pushed inland from 
the sea itself, and this is anywhere between 10 to 15 feet. So this is catastrophic, not only rainfall, but catastrophic sur storm surge that we're expecting on the southern side of this island. Uh, on the eastern southern side, the southeastern side, anywhere between 6 to 10 feet uh, of storm surge. And this is in addition to, of course, that fresh water flooding. Uh, and this again, we're just looking at the main part of the hurricane working its way in here, but you can see some of the outer bands reaching areas like Haiti, like like Cuba sometime early Tuesday when this is making landfall. You can see the whole island at this point just engulfed in heavy rainfall. In addition to that storm surge, eventually seeing things uh, improve from hurricane uh, perspective from this hurricane moving away from the island sometime Tuesday evening. So this is really going to be at least a 12 to 15 hour event and then eventually working its way into Cuba and then eventually the lesser Antilles before it moves into areas like uh, the open water of the Atlantic and eventually uh, Bermuda. Meanwhile, uh, right now, again, the current uh, category for Hurricane Melissa is a category five. It's still technically moving to the northwest, but expected to make a shift towards uh, Jamaica here in the next few hours and then eventually making landfall. Be sure to keep it tuned here to WFA Plus for the latest on the tropics. We'll see you next time.